Hey guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another full face of one brand makeup tutorial. This is on a completely new brand. It's exclusive to Walgreens. It's CYO which I believe stands for create your own and it's supposed to be great for a couple of reasons. One the whole you know create your own aspect of it means you can use these products for different parts of your face that these products wouldn't normally be meant for and it's extremely affordable. I got 14 things for $60. I mean, you can't get two things sometimes from Sephora for $60. I don't think anything costs over $8. So because your girl's a little, you know, interested on how this is going to go, let's just get right into the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and come back to the brow pencil later. All I did was outline my brows with it, but I'm gonna do that later. Obviously, they're not filled in. I did do a little cheating um, by shaping my brows with the Tarte Shape Tape and using that as eye primer because I think they have an eye primer. I just missed it while I was checking out. Um, so I'm just gonna go straight into the eyeshadow. So I picked up two of the matte eyeshadow singles. They do have eyeshadow palettes, but I wasn't really checking for them. These are $2.99 each, and this brown shade is Deep Thought, and the black one is Zone Out. I also got one of their shimmer shades. I know it's a metallic shade. Um. Yeah, it's their Metallic Eyeshadow Crush. This is $3.89 and I got it in the shade Lovey Dovey. And um, the other thing that I'm going to use for this eye look isn't an eyeshadow, it's actually their bronzer. Um, it's, it's the shade Medium. I think there are only like two shades. And uh, that's what this bronzer looks like, the darkest shade of bronzer. So I'm just gonna take that bronzer shade and use that in my transition. Right? You know it's off to a great start when the bronzer is too light to be a bronzer or an eyeshadow shade. Okay, let's just... So I'm just gonna move on to that single matte brown shade Deep Thought and place that right on top. then so this is three layers of the brown on my eyes I'm sorry we're, we're starting early here um, this is three layers of the brown on my eyes now I'm just gonna take that single black shade zone out and put that in my crease I know black crease but I am going for a cut crease here and something tells me the black isn't going to be that black on me anyway but you know let's let's just try it and see how it goes you know what maybe this might actually be black Ooh, okay So I went ahead and cut my crease using the Tarte Shape Tape, and now I'm gonna use that metallic shade, Lovey Dovey. Let's see the quick. All right. That is it there. That is it there on the back of my hand. I 
I was going to take it all the way out, but I think I might just throw some black in here because, I don't know. You know what, let's just, uh, let's just move on here. So this is the semi-permanent eyeliner in the shade this line's a keeper and this is a 389 i'm just going to use that to draw some winged liner on so i went ahead and threw on some lashes cyo do not carry lashes themselves so i use the lily lashes and sephora collection collab lashes and while my lash glue dries let me just tell you about this collab okay um don't get it if you're someone who says you know i see lily lashes getting all this hype i want to check them out just get it directly from her site to get these two was 40 dollars to get them off her site would be 60 don't no, okay? I know we all want to save $20, but no, because it's not the same quality whatsoever. This has the manufacturing glue on the actual lashes. They're stiff, and they're not... I've worn Lily Lashes enough times in videos for you guys to know that these... Well, the Lily Lashes Miami, to know that these are not the same thing. Like, what is this? First of all, they feel heavier. And can you even see my eyes anymore? What? Okay. So as for the semi-permanent eyeliner, it's one of these type of eyeliners this can be very overwhelming and threatening for some people who can barely just do a line of eyeliner let alone a wing it smudges really easily it already smudged right here and I don't know what it is about this eyeliner but it's goopy like it's sticky isn't the word it's just it feels like what's that like melted rubber type of yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the eight pounds of eyeshadow that fell onto my face while I was doing my eyes, and then I'm going to move into primer. So this is their Matte and Blur Primer Matte Attack. You get one fluid ounce for four dollars twenty nine cents. Here, is that silicone? <sighs> So on to the main reason why your girl is worried about this video. Okay, this is their matte foundation no shine zone. This retails for $6 for one ounce and comes in a whopping six shades. Yeah, I obviously got it in the darkest shade. I'm not sure if you can see through the bottle just how dark that looks. But let me just quickly read that this is a long lasting liquid foundation that mattifies skin for 14 hours for a shine free finish all day long. It covers pores and imperfections without the heavy cake feeling. Okay, well. Let's just uh, get this show on the road. your mind is not playing tricks on you this is actually just what my face looks like right now so let's just move on here um this is their concealer cover lover again this comes in three shades and I got it in the darkest shade which is dark and this is four dollars 29 cents in case you missed it when I said it a few seconds ago this is in the shade dark So let's just move on to their fixing powder all set it's a loose powder um and it's just a translucent or clear for everyone <laughs> shade and this retails for four dollars 29 cents i'm just going to use that to set my concealer powders check them before you start filming if they have those little stupid plastic covers over the sifter and I never do it and then I oh oh so the whole okay well I was here struggling trying to get the plastic off and uh, the whole thing just came off you know what just, let's just roll with it because um why not 
Okay, so the powder isn't just full on white, it's got this kind of peach undertone to it. Or peach coloring. And I don't full on bake per se anymore. I literally put it on with the sponge, leave it on for max 20 seconds, and then I brush it off. And then to set my entire face, I'm gonna use their matte pressed powder, Meet Your Matte, and <laughs> this is in the shade Dark. That's what that looks like. Yeah, this is their shade Dark. So I'm gonna use that to set my entire face since it's dark. And because we're just on a roll here with complexion products, I'm going to use their Contour Kit Girls On, which retails for $5.09. This is the, uh, they only have two different kits that you can pick from. This is the darkest one, obviously, in the shade Dark. And this is what it looks like. I actually, part of me is just sitting here like, why? Why are you attempting to contour right now? But you know, I mean, granted the shade that my face is right now, maybe this contour will show up on that shade. Um, if it was my regular foundation shade, it certainly would not. Is it showing up now? So this is their bronzing and highlighting palette shimmer switch. This retails for $4.29 and this is the second one, Lost in Space. Uh, I think I'm just gonna stick with these two, like make a mixture of these two to use as highlighter. And I got their matte lipstick, matte lot of good, which retails for $4.29. Um, I'm not sure if lot of good is the name of the shade. Oh no, it's the shade Tunnel, I think. It'll be on the screen. Okay, so back to the brow pencil. This is their brow sculpting pencil frame of mine. I believe they only have two shades for this and this is the darkest one, dark. It's again, one of the type of eyebrow pencils I say I can't stand and it's a lot harder than you would think to uh, you know, outline your brows with this type of pencil. But since I already did that, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill them in. So that is it for my full face of CYO makeup. It is now 2.37. We are going to do a very short, and I mean short, type of wear test to see how this whole face holds up. So I'll be back in a couple of hours to uh, show you all that and give my thoughts on this brand. Okay, so I am back and it is 7.13 and this is what my face looks like. So I'm just going to quickly run down whether or not I would recommend everything that is on my face right now. I'm gonna try to keep that as short as possible because there's so much your girl has to say about this brand in general, okay? So as far as the eyebrows go, would I recommend that brow pencil that I used? No, I wouldn't, but that comes down to a preference thing. I simply don't like brow products that are made like that. I feel other brow pencils give you a more hair-like finish to your brows and this gives you more of a waxy type of look and I'm simply not here for it. But if you are someone who is here for it, then would I recommend it? Go right ahead. Now for eyeshadow, the bronzer is a bronzer, but would I be able to use it as a bronzer? No, I would not. It's three or four shades too light to be a foundation, so it certainly can't be a bronzer for me. And even as an eyeshadow, I still can't use it for that either because it pretty much disappeared when I put it on my eyes. Um, so I'm just gonna go cancel that whole thing out there. Um, the matte eyeshadow pans that I got, the two matte shades, once again, the brown is borderline similar to the bronzer where it just disappeared on my face. And the black is supposed to be a dark black, and somehow it was a blacky brown once I blended it out now um so basically <laughs> if you are dark skin it's not gonna show up too well on your eyes unless you put some type of you know brightening uh something underneath an eyeshadow a cream whatever a white 
type of cream eyeshadow underneath that. Um, but would I do that? No, because they don't really blend that well into each other. It was kind of patchy. Um, so I'm not here for the matte eyeshadow. Now the metallic eyeshadow, again, it's just, all of these eyeshadows were just horrible when it comes to showing up on my skin tone. I was pat, 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 patting it onto my eye. And the thing is, this is how it looks when it's in the little thingy. I'm not sure how well the camera's actually gonna pick it up, but this is how it looks in the pan and this is how it looks on my eye. So. I'm just, I'm not here for CYO's eyeshadows at all. Now the eyeliner, like I was trying to say earlier, can be intimidating because of the wand. So that is one reason why you might want to shy away from it because more people I feel prefer, uh, what's the name? I can't think of the name, but I feel like most of you know the uh, eyeliner tip that most people prefer using because it's just easier. It doesn't smudge as easily. And like I said before, this has a just rubbery, gooey type of formula to it so I'm I'm not here for the eyeliner. They don't have eyelashes. They do have a primer. The primer is silicone. If you if y'all know how I feel, your girl is not here for silicone primers. I mean I can make exceptions sometimes. I can't make an exception for this one because it's a greasy still like your face feels greasy while you're rubbing it onto your face. Um so no I'm not here for the primer. I just realized my tongue is yellow orange. My bad, you girl was eating cheese doodles. Um, but now for the foundation, when I say foundation, I'm talking about the formula of the foundation. This is the matte version. I'm not, uh, I shouldn't say versions. This is the matte type of foundation that they have. They do have another type that is a long wearing radiant type of finish to it. Um, but I went with matte because I have combo oily skin. Now for the foundation, it claims to be matte, lightweight, long wearing, um, same thing with the concealer and the powders. I have two powders on. They all claim that they're gonna keep your face matte. They all claim that they're lightweight, um, long wearing. And I think right now we can look at my face and tell them my face is still pretty matte and it's been almost five hours now. So I will give it to those, the foundation, the concealer, the powder, and the, the all over face setting powder that they all did do that, that they do keep your face matte. I feel like my oil is a little bit starting to show through, but even then it's just a little bit and it's been almost five hours now. So the foundation does what it claims. The concealer, even if even though it does what it claims, I still wouldn't recommend the concealer. Now the powder that I used to bake is doing pretty well. My face isn't creasing except for here, which by now I've said is just always going to crease. There's not much any product can do to fix that. Um, but as far as like other areas on my face where other powders have caused um, creasing around smile lines or laugh lines, um, it's doing good there. And the powder that I set all over my face um, is doing the same as well. Now, that contour kit is a no, okay? It was patchy. I haven't come across that too too often, even if it's a, um, a, a drugstore contour kit or a high-end contour kit that was powder where it was patchy, but congratulations, CYO, you somehow managed to pull that off, um, so no. Now, this highlight is probably the only thing that I've shown in this video that I would be able to recommend across the board without any type of, you know, complaints about me saying anything. This is it for this highlighter. Um, they do have two different versions, so if you feel like these highlights are too dark for you, there is one um, lighter than this one that you can use and you can mix and match and all that other stuff. I think it's pigmented. I think it's nicely made. It's not too glittery on your face. So kudos on that highlighter. You have one thing that someone could recommend. And I believe the last thing that I have on is the lipstick. It's pigmented, but it's not pigmented. I don't know if you can see this, but my bottom lip is not the same shade of red orange as my top lip and my top lip is darker than my bottom lip so the darker your lips get the less pigmented this is going to be um so it was a little streaky trying to get it to you know even out on my top lip it does dry down matte and it's not a sticky matte um but again you know the darker you get 
the more you're going to have to put on to get in an even application. So my overall thoughts on CYO, okay, stands for create your own. I'm gonna need you to create your own way out, okay? I'm sick and tired of these brands who put so much time and effort into the fluff of their background stories and the history of their brands and why they're so diverse and innovative and they're, they're you know, doing things that other brands haven't done and they put more time into that than actually making sure that their brand represents what they say that they are. Let me just quickly read to you, you know, some of the background that this brand claims that they are from their own press release. And you can see why your girl might be just a tad bit frustrated here. Okay, um, so let's see here. Launching exclusively at Walgreens stores this fall, CYO serves up an impressive 160 products, including contour sticks, mattifying primers, metallic eyeshadow pots that happen to look like perfect MAC dupes. Um, they even have a few eyeshadow palettes with kick-ass names. Excited yet? Brace yourself for the best part. Everything is under $8. CYL is challenging the norms of how beauty products are used. We're giving makeup a shake-up. We've created an edgy line that doesn't break the bank and goes beyond your typical beauty boundaries. CYL is designed for gen Genzers. From product to packaging to price, the new budget-friendly brand is designed to look just as chic on Instagram or Snapchat as it does on your face. This is for the new generation of beauty lovers who want to create and recreate the many versions of themselves. We'll never say do this or look like that. Instead, we'll produce high-quality function products that let them experiment and have fun. Do you see why I'm irritated? These companies say things like, oh, we've created this edgy line and we're breaking typical beauty boundaries. Who's? Holes, okay? Certainly not. Even these mediocre companies who put out 11 and 17 shades, they have sat on you and taken your lunch. Okay, go have a seat with All May Physicians Formula and It Cosmetics in the dumb bitch section and think about what you're doing, okay? Think about what you are doing as a brand because it's not making sense. You put out two foundations. This one has six shades. The other one has, I don't know, somewhere nine maybe, I don't know. And then the rest of your complexion products across the board either have two, three, Oh, let me throw you a bone and give you four shades to pick from. So who, who are these beauty lovers that have so much to choose from that they can just express themselves and be free and create and feel like them? Where? Okay? Because it's certainly not dark skin friendly. We're just going to go ahead and get that out of the way right now. This brand is not dark skin friendly whatsoever between their complexion products, their lip products, or their eyeshadow products. It's not. Okay? Um, as far as extremely pale skin... It's not for them either because the the lightest of shades looks like the the typical medium maybe tan shade that we're all used to seeing and even for the shades in between who you're usually like okay brands usually make the shades for the 50 shades of beige that are in between the spectrum here what exactly do they have to choose from i mean if you want to go ahead and mix and match foundation sure go ahead it's only everything is less than eight dollars but this is why I'm going to need brands to stop okay and I don't want to hear any of that oh it's a new brand they just came out they're working on things they're gonna get better they put out 160 products okay maybe you should have taken a page out of Michelle Fon's book and what she said when she rebranded is that she was just going to focus on one product until she could make sure it was good and then move on to the next and the next and so forth okay you put out a hundred and maybe instead of putting out those three or four crappy eyeshadow palettes you should have focused on just putting out just complexion products just lip products just eyeshadow products because all of them okay pretty much have an issue i have never had to roast a brand like this before in my life okay you let me know in the comments down below if you get that reference well i forgot to take a flash test but i will do that once i wrap this up here and insert that right here and that's i feel like i pretty much said everything that i need to say about cyo <laughs>